Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, it is uh, Saturday, well it's Saturday afternoon now, just about a quarter afternoon, uh, and I'm out at Julius Kleiner Park. Typical for a Saturday, there's a lot going on at the park. I just came out here to go for a walk, but then I saw uh, they've got a big cosplay thing going on over at the band shell, and uh, then there's some other things going on with uh, I think it's dog training or something because there's a lot of people here with their dogs on a leash, etc. Uh, so anyway, I had the uh, Autel Nano Plus with me, and I haven't flown this drone for quite a while, and I knew there was a firmware update for it. So part of my what I wanted to do was update the firmware. I can't get it to update. It, it, this drone does what they call an OTA over the app update. Uh, and it just won't do it, and I don't know how you force an update. Uh, and I don't, you know, perhaps you can download it to a micro SD card or something. I don't know. If you Autel guys uh, know, please let me know in the uh, comments below. Uh, but uh, I'll show you this, the, uh, the firmware package that it has on it now. Uh, and you can see whenever those letters are in red, you know that it's outdated firmware. Now, why it won't update. I have no clue, uh, but uh, in any case, we're going to fly on the old firmware. And by the way, it is giving me a message when I turn it on that it says remote ID broadcasting. So yeah, you got me there. I know part of the new firmware was that it was supposed to add remote ID capability. So anyway, I'm not sure what's going on, uh, but you'll see that firmware package. If any of you guys know how I can update that, please let me know. I'm having the same problem with my uh, Autel Lite Plus. Uh, but at any rate, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I'm kind of starting over here. I had forgotten to start a screen recording, so I'm gonna take a look at that safety menu again. And I looked at this before and it's all good. You can see our return to home height is set at 36 meters, not asking for any calibrations. I'm gonna show you that about screen. You can see my firmware is outdated because it's in red and there's the firmware package. How you update that, I got no clue because the over the app update is not working for me, so I'll need to figure that out. Uh, but anyway, what, uh, what I'd forgot with this drone is you can't adjust any of the camera settings till you take off, and in fact, you can't start shooting till you take off. And uh, the other thing I just noticed is I don't have my uh, gimbal sticks on the RC, and again, uh, they don't give you a way to store them on the RC, so let me go get my gimbal sticks. Okay, so here we are. I got my gimbal sticks. Get them, uh, get them installed here real quick. You know, it's the little things that mean a lot. Come on, Autel, give us a place to store those sticks. Uh, but anyway, okay, let's go ahead and take off. We're going to do an automated takeoff. And first thing I'm going to do is uh, we are going to go in and we're going to switch to auto. So we are in auto now. And let's go ahead and, uh, yep, yeah, so it says we're in auto. Let's see if we can, yeah, HDR is on. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted that uh, 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 high definition recording. So let's go ahead and bring the drone in. And we're only gonna be able to bring it so far in because of the uh, obstacle avoidance, uh, which does work on this drone. Now it doesn't, it will not go around me, but uh, I'm going to aim it straight for me and you're going to see the drone. Yeah, it just won't even move forward right now. Well, it's kind of, it, it's moving down, it's going, yeah. So it was finding a way around there, but it doesn't have the level of uh, a pass that you see on a, uh, on a DJI drone, uh, but we can turn it off right here on the app in the top right. I'm gonna click on that little radar looking thing, confirm that we turn it off, and then, uh, and then I'll bring it in to the, uh, to the camera here. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's bring this guy in so you can get a good look at the drone in flight. So there's that little guy. It's, uh, you know, it, it's still a, a, a good looking little drone. And oh, by the way, let's start recording. How about that? Starting recording right now. So, okay, we're recording and we're in auto. Uh, those are the things you kind of hoops you got to jump through with this uh, drone, you know, as opposed to uh, 
with my DJI Mini, I can just start recording and get all that adjusted before I even take off. But uh, we're going to be careful here. We got some people in a picnic shelter over there, so we're not going to go as far as we normally do. Uh, but let's do our droning. I'm dropping the camera down, reverse and up. And there you can see me there. That's about as far as I'm going to go. Let's go ahead and grab some altitude and I'm going to kind of uh, turn around here and get you a, a look at the territory. There is a ton going on in the park today. Everywhere you look, all of these picnic shelters are full. There's people with uh, things going on. A lot of people playing disc golf uh, and there's stuff going on at the band shell that I'm going to show you here. And we're going to see if we're going to get there. And you can see I'm not even close to the uh, picnic shelter, but uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of people over there. And you can see all the cars lined up here. Let's, let's grab some altitude. And again, we're going to stay away from uh, flying over the top of people. We'll let those people go by there. Well, I can kind of scoot into the inside of them. And I think we can go around kind of by the top of the hill here. And I should be able to show you a little bit about with of what's going on uh, at the uh, at the band shell here. They're having a, a uh, there's a, a bunch of cosplay going on down there. So let's see if we can kind of get up here. Uh, this is one of those situations where I had, wish I had my uh, my Mavic 3 Pro with me today because I could just stand back here and, and zoom right in. This guy has zoom and uh, if I can remember how to uh, how to get to the zoom. Oh yeah, okay, I've just got the 1x and the 2x and the 4 right there in front of me. So, uh, so let's go ahead and go in two times and again this is just cropping on the sensor. But this is cool, this is looking good. Yeah, let's go in four times. Yeah, okay, so this should get us a pretty good look. And again, we're cropped right in. Looks like they're doing some award ceremonies right now, but when I walked by earlier, there was a ton of Star Wars and uh, all kinds of different fantasy costumes, as well as some uh, Halloween-style costumes, you know, witches and goblins and that kind of thing. But, uh, but a lot of it, I saw a ton of Star Wars. So I have a feeling that... Uh, let me drop the camera down a little bit. That maybe a good portion of it is already is already probably done. So I can't see on my little FPV screen if we're if we're capturing any of these uh, costumes or not. But uh, wanted you guys to see it. And uh, you know I we'll have to take an, I'll have to take a look at the SD card when I get home. But I can tell you even cropped in on the sensor. It's looking really good on my FPV screen, and of course that's just my that's my phone. Uh, but there's all kinds of costumes here. Like I said, I saw a bunch of uh, Star Wars uh, and all manner of different costumes here. There we go. We got something off there in the distance in white. Let me. See. I don't know if that's a costume or not. I assume it probably is. I can't really tell on my FPV screen. But uh, anyway, let's go back to uh, one by. And, you know, primarily uh, this drone, I haven't flown it in quite a while. So uh, I haven't had the Nano Plus out in quite some time. And one of the reasons that I w wanted to fly it today is that I wanted to, uh, to get the... Uh, 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 excuse me, uh, every once in a while I need to learn how to talk and I get distracted. I wanted to update the firmware because I knew there were some new firmware packages coming out, but uh, I can't seem to get it done. And I had the same issues with my, uh, with my Light Plus. So, yeah, don't know what's going on there. Let's get out here over the, uh, over the pond and we can kind of look back. At, uh, at what's going on. A lot of people fishing today. I've seen a lot of people out fishing. Let's flip this guy around, give you a, give you a look. 
And uh, I do have obstacle avoidance off. I'm going to turn that back on uh, because we might be getting down lower here in some of these uh, spots. And I also I want to make sure that it's working correctly on a sunny day like today. Obstacle avoidance is on, so we're good to go there. Uh, let's grab some altitude here and give you kind of the big picture. So it looks like they've probably taken a lot of it down, but right there kind of in the center of the screen there was a big uh, pet event going on, dogs. Uh, and I noticed there were some dog food companies and people uh, training their dogs, etc. Uh, everybody was on a leash, so that was a good thing. Everybody was, their dogs were well behaved, which I can appreciate. The other thing you see off in the distance here, and like I said, I grabbed some altitude just so that I'm not... Uh, not bugging anybody, but uh, there was a, a corn dog stand right over here. A guy went one of those corn dog trucks, and I can't see on my little FPV screen. We're going to go all the way to four by zoom. See if we can zoom in. Oh, yeah, he's still there. See that little uh, corn dog trailer? I'll definitely stop by there before I, before I leave the park today. I'm a sucker for a good corn dog. Okay. Uh, Hot dog on a stick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, we can go around here to the other end of the park, kind of giving you the big picture. Like I said, I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. Down to 59% battery on this guy. This is going to be a fairly short flight. We're not going to get too carried away. Like I said, kind of the main thing is that I was hoping to get the firmware updated and uh, was not able to get that done. But uh, one of the things about it is uh, it reminds me, and I'm going to let that bicyclist go by before I cross there. Uh, it reminds me how much, uh, how well this drone flies. This is just a pleasure to fly. They're the, uh, you know, the only uh, company that even comes close to what DJI does is, with their flight controls is Autel. So. Let's bring this guy down and see if we can get down closer to the uh, to the fountain here, and maybe we can just do a little uh, little loop around the fountain. Let's get it. We can probably even get in a little closer and a little lower, and uh, let's see if we can just do a loop around. Yeah, there we go little manual orbit around the uh, fountain here uh, and I'm a little bit off trying to keep it in center of uh, frame but doing pretty good yeah the yaw is a little sensitive that's something that I could go in and adjust but uh, it's looking pretty good okay let's grab some altitude again and maybe we can show you the other side here let me uh, I'm going to kind of give you a, kind of a perspective that I don't normally show you. So we're going to move forward. And I'm going to get out over this parking lot over here. And we'll turn the other way and we'll kind of move uh, sideways. And kind of just give you a different, different view of Kleiner Park than I normally, uh, normally show you here. So again, just moving it uh, sideways, and uh, the obstacle avoidance is behaving itself quite well. No issues there. Uh, as you guys might have recalled, I had some problems with my uh, with my light plus that I was getting a lot of uh, falsing in in bright sunlight. But this guy's doing great, and I will say this: this drone, I used to have uh, obstacle avoidance issues with it all the time. Lots of falsing, lots of issues. I sent it back to Autel, and I don't know if they calibrated it or what they did. I, I, I believe there were some problems with some of the sensors, but whatever they did, they fixed it right up. And I just dropped the camera down there and dropped a little altitude uh, so you could kind of see that play area right there. Not too many kids on the splash pad today, but a few. 
And again, let's uh, see if we can get down and see what's going on at the uh, with the cosplay at the uh, band shell. And one of the things that I noticed about this drone is like I'm holding the left stick full down and it does not descend. I'm used to drones like the, uh, uh, the my Mavic 3 and even my Mini 3 Pro. You pull on that down stick, they descend pretty fast. This guy, not so much. So let's just kind of hover here for a second. And again, let's zoom in. There's two times zoom. And looks like we got some people in costumes right here sitting in the shade and some more there let's kind of center up on that let's go to four by zoom yeah so there's a there's a bunch of different you know you guys will probably recognize though boy there's there's a guy who's got a big uh, big old axe there look at that that's cool <laughs> uh, you know I can't really see the fine detail oh and then there's a uh, a Star Wars uh, stormtrooper right there walking off let's uh i picked up the camera a little bit so you could see him walking off the other direction yeah okay so yeah let's get that camera back down and we'll just kind of look around here some more there's a witch and looks like that might be where where's waldo right there uh like again i can't probably see these as good as we're going to be able to see uh, on the recording because I'm just looking at my little uh, FPV screen, but this is pretty darn cool. Uh, okay, back to one by. We're down to 31% battery. That's one of the things about this drone. You know, we get spoiled by the long battery life on uh, some of our DJI drones, uh, etc. And this guy just does not have the battery life. So I'm going to I'm going to throw it in sport mode. Maybe. Or ludicrous mode, excuse me, and let's uh, let's just head out across the pond here before we bring it home, and let's see how fast we can get this guy uh, going here. It should have a top speed of about 15 meters per second. Yeah, there's 13. I saw we were at 14 for a while. Heading out, of, it's just almost directly over the top of me right now. We're heading out over the neighborhood here. And it seems to be kind of stuck at that, uh, yeah, 14 meters per second. I think the top speed is supposed to be 15. And I, I, I can't remember if I have it in speed priority or not. We can look at that real quick. Let's go to control. Uh, let's see, is it flight mode, speed mode? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's look here, flight modes. Yeah, in ludicrous. Yeah, and we already have it in speed priority. Yeah, yeah. So turn speed. That was one of the things. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick that down a little bit. Of course, that's in in uh, that's in ludicrous mode. So you might want it up there. We let's go back and just for the fun of it, let's go uh, let's go back into uh, standard mode. And go back in there again. Click on Control. And uh, yeah, it's wanting to go into Return to Home. We'll let it do it. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Flight mode. Yeah, and then we have the turn speed. We do have it turned down there. I'm going to turn it down even a little more because it was a little fast for my liking. So yeah, the drone's coming back. So I'm going to click OK there. This drone does not pretend uh, to, uh, to be a precision lander. But let's see how we do here. That's me dropping the camera down. And let's see how close we get to the, uh, to the pad here. And it's, uh, it's off by a good foot or two. I'm going to stand on the other side here. Let's uh, see if it'll pick up the camera here. Yeah, I better cancel. I don't want to land in the grass, so let's move it forward a little bit. And there you can see the landing pad. Let's see if I can straighten it out. I should put it in smooth mode is what I need to do. 
There we go, smooth mode, and let's uh, let's see if we can get it over the pad here. Move it forward to the side a little bit. Well, we're almost over the H. I'm going to say that's probably as about as good as I'm going to get it. And you'll see it lift the camera up probably at the last second. So I'm going to go straight down on the left stick. And there it picked up the camera. It said unsafe environment, but uh, anyway, it landed. So, and one of the things I do like about Autel is they do stop recording when it, uh, when it lands. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, the Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, it's been a long time since I've flown this little guy. The object today was to try and get the firmware updated. Unsuccessful at that, but what a fun day to go for a little flight out at the park, right? Uh, we saw the cosplay stuff going on over at the band shell and uh, just kind of got a good look at the park on a nice green, sunny, pleasant day. Uh, this drone flies really nice. I love the flight controls on it. Uh, you know, I wish it was a little faster. You know, I complained a little bit about the descent speed and so forth. Uh, but, you know, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, if you're looking for a drone with a, just a phenomenal uh, camera on it, it this thing is just uh, its amazing and it's a great value. Uh, I've seen it on sale lately, the Fly More package for right around 700 bucks. So hard to beat that deal. Uh, the only downside I'll say is that my understanding is, is that Autel has discontinued uh, the Nano series of drones and the light series of drones, although, again, they're still updating firmware, so I'd say that's a good thing. I haven't seen anything about end of life. In other words, what, what, what a corporation says what, when they say end of life, that means there's gonna be a certain point that they won't support it anymore, and they haven't said anything like that that I know of, unless you guys know of something different. So, uh, yeah, if you're just looking for a, a nice little sub-250 drone, again, sub 250 drone that you can fly uh, without registering it, without a number, as long as you're flying uh, just for pleasure, uh, recreation, they, they call it. You do need to take the trust test, uh, etc. but flying for recreation, you don't need to even need to register the thing. So uh, anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I absolutely appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. The Autel Evo Nano Plus. There's a light, uh, mouthful for a name for a drone, huh? All right, see you guys later.